All right, I'm back from the Geek Cave. Uh, I know I was going to do a video from uh, another beer video from Aleworks but, uh, based on their beer, but unfortunately, I can't get the video to work right with iMovie, so I don't know. But anyway, uh, what I've got here, though, is a, a ham radio project I've been working on for a while. Uh, this guy right here is the makings of a dipole antenna. Now, if you're not a ham radio operator, you don't know what that is. A dipole antenna is basically a very simple antenna, uh, two pieces of wire strung out um, to the correct length so they'll be resonant on a certain frequency that you want to transmit and receive on. Uh, you just have to cut it, um, cut the wire, and then attach it to your radio using some type of coaxial feed. Um, all the parts for this I basically got at the hardware store and Radio Shack. Um, essentially, it's just uh, you know inch and a half PVC pipe. Here, I'm going to actually take it apart because it's not completely together yet. I haven't finished it yet. Uh, but it's basically an yeah, inch and a half pipe with uh, a couple of eyelets uh, screwed into it. I, you know, I drilled a couple. And then I took a cap, drilled a 5 8 hole for an SO239 coaxial antenna connector uh, and then get this out of here though I haven't put it I, yeah I got to finish putting it together but I can show you how this all goes together and this guy probably cost me because I spent a little extra time a little extra money um, probably all together about 30 bucks to make now you can get something similar um, that's much bigger for about uh, 45 maybe 50 bucks online that's you know, built, you know, uh, really good quality. Uh, it's meant to last a good long time. Uh, and, you know, you can get those, just Google, um, you know, G5RV, which uh, is just a simple, you know, it's an antenna just like this. Um, so basically what I did was I drilled the 5 8 hole, put this in, and I used 440 hardware. I don't know how well you can see it there. Uh, 440 hardware. Uh, to connect it, and I got that at Radio Shack, but you can also get it at uh, Home Depot for a little bit cheaper, but I was in Radio Shack, they had it, I grabbed it, um, so I got enough to last me a while, but next time I do need some, I'm definitely going to Home Depot or Lowe's or something like that, so I basically just crimped an end on one end of the wire, so the red is the ground, the black is the hot, where the actual, um, you know, where the actual, uh, energy goes through uh, but this will act as a as a radiator as well um, essentially <clears throat> um, I will cut these two guys to fit onto these two eyelets and I'll have pieces of wire going off either direction depending on the length uh, for the frequency this one is set for the six meter band which is 50 megahertz uh, in the 50 megahertz range so I will cut and I will, I will basically cut and strip the ends of these two and then solder it to the wire that I attach to this. And then uh, I will cement these guys, you know, cement the cap on with a little eyelet so I can hang it up in a tree or something. Um, and then uh, once I put that up, I'll use some paracord to stretch out the ends. And I've got a couple of, um, I got a couple of uh, uh, hooks to act as insulators. And essentially, uh, I'll use a, a antenna tuner to make it electrically the right length to be able to uh, allow me to transmit without getting uh, without getting uh, um, uh, power coming back on my transmission line. Uh, if you're a ham radio operator, you know exactly what I'm talking about. If you're if you're not and you're just kind of interested, um, like I said, just Google dipole antenna, uh, and you can find out more about um, about how that all works. And um, like I said, this guy pretty cheap to make, pretty easy to make. And uh, that's one of my things. You know, I'm a ham radio operator, so I like building this kind of stuff. Build my own antennas and that. And you can build all kinds of different antennas. I mean, there's people that have taken old tape measures and built uh, little beam antennas. That's the ones that look like you know the TV antennas with the you know they got the beam along the center and then the the ends on either you know the the rods on either side, uh, something like that. So, um, but yeah, that's what I've been up to here in the Geek Cave and. Uh, also, uh, you know, check out the website. Uh, you see the, you know, the address down here. Uh, go to xjockalbanyny.com. Check it out. And uh, comment. Um, um, let us know what you think about the site. Uh, 
and we'll go from there. All right, because we'd love to have you on there and uh, let us know how we're doing. Uh, if you like our stuff, or if you hate our stuff, because you know we're fame hounds. Anyway, uh, but thanks for watching. And uh, if you if you want more information on how to how I built this, uh, you can uh, message me or uh, comment in the video here on YouTube or either on the XJock website. Oh, and give me some likes. I like likes. The, you know, no Jamie Lannisters. Yeah.